Cancer, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to your January Tarot Monthly Messages. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be told every single time I drop a new video. Now, not all messages will resonate with you since time and energy is fluid, so check back at a later date if they will resonate towards the end of the month and I also encourage you to check out your moon and rising sign videos. Let's go ahead and see what is in store for all my cancer signs for the month of January. What do we need to see for all cancer signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of January? What do we need to know for our cancer signs? What do we need to know for our cancer signs, sun, moon, and rising? One more card, please. What do we need to know? Cancer signs, sun, moon, and rising for January. Show us what we need to see for all cancer signs. One more card. All right, Cancer signs. Definitely starting off this month with some stagnant energy with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you may have had a vacation planned, but with the global pandemic or some unforeseen circumstances, there's like a pause in these travel plans or some canceled plans as well. I'm also getting here some stagnant energy within relationships. So your personal relationships have possibly come to some sort of like brick wall. There's just like a pause uh, in the developments in this personal relationship here. A lack of communication, withholding communication. Maybe there's a lack of like reaching out, no more phone calls, no more text messages. But with the eight of wands in reverse, I'm almost feeling like there was no real closure around the situation. So it kind of just feels like it just fizzled out without any real explanations. At one point, this really bothered you with the nine of swords in reverse now it's showing me that it no longer affects you the same way that it did before but it was really painful really stressful and it left you wondering what the hell happened <laughs> like what happened between the two of us i'm really getting that this is more of like a personal relationship you're thinking we were really close we used to talk all the time everything seemed okay because when both of these energies are upright this is quick movement forward lots of communication someone coming to see you all the time and vice versa and now with these cards in reverse it just feels like it happened so abruptly like it all stopped so abruptly um but it's not affecting you the way that it did possibly towards the end of last year now baby you are all about you six of wands upright you know that you deserve the love attention and affection that you uh want for yourself like your standards are all the way up to here and you're totally okay with it you are ready to be the center of somebody's attention you're ready to get that affection from another person even if it means that you need to move forward away from these other people you deserve it you deserve to be put on a pedestal. You deserve to be loved and you deserve to be happy. And if the people who are no longer in constant, consistent communication with you, open, transparent communication with you, if they are not going to step up to the plate and show what for you in that way, I'm really seeing here that you're okay with taking a step back. However, we do have the three of wands in reverse. So I don't necessarily think you're taking big leaps forward in terms of like moving forward and cutting people off but I do think you are reclaiming some of this energy back so the effort that you maybe put into specific um, intimate relationships I don't think you are investing as much time into these things anymore I think you're going to be refocusing your time and your energy into people that matter relationships that show up reciprocal for you as well as new financial opportunities i really think that that's going to be your focus but um a future without this person is kind of on your mind as well like you were prepared for you to travel solo and take a step into the future on your own if that's what you need to do because you're fully aware of what you're worth and you're not going to settle for anything less. You're not going to settle for someone who does not match the energy that you bring into a relationship. At the bottom of the deck are the seven of wands upright. You are definitely 
uh, protecting yourself from the opinions of other people. Uh, you're protecting your peace. If someone comes at you with some negative energy, I'm really seeing here that you're doing whatever you can to separate yourself from those low vibes. Uh, if someone is going to come to you, you want them to come correct. And until they come correct with either a proper apology or a real explanation or some transparency or some accountability in what's been going on uh, in this unraveling of the situation, then you're not interested in hearing what they have to say. Um, you're no longer trapped by this either. Two of swords in reverse. You see it for what it is. It's just not happening as fast as you would like it to, but you're really seeing a person and a situation for what it truly is. Five of wands up right underneath the two of swords. Someone, however, is coming at you with some conflict energy. So someone is a little bit fiery about the situation. They're probably upset that you are now choosing to disengage and are more detached than you were before. But it seems like someone you're dealing with still has a lot to say to you. But again, protecting your peace. As they come at you and kind of act a fool and cause a ruckus, you're like, nah fam, I'm cool where I am. If you're gonna come, come correct. Let's check this eight of wands in reverse eight of wands in reverse is clarified by the tower in reverse we also have the two of pentacles in reverse and we also have the three of cups in reverse you're going through a huge transition right now cancer signs i think some of you are avoiding a disaster you're avoiding something from crumbling down completely but there is something in your life that's not built on solid ground and i really don't feel like uh I just, I feel like it's everything. With the three of cups in reverse, it's not just like one person. I think you're going through a huge transition even with the people that you consider your friends, the, your family members, people that you celebrate with, have a good time with, that are your usual support systems. Everyone is kind of going through a transition right now. Um, and I think some unexpected changes are probably bubbling underneath the surface and are about to come to a head. We have the two of pentacles in reverse here. So this energy is no longer about juggling what no longer serves you in an attempt to keep everybody happy. Cancer signs, it's time for you to be happy. You deserve to be a priority as well. You spend so much time trying to um, appease everyone and walk the middle ground so as not to upset anybody. And I'm seeing that here with this avoidance of the tower, but that's it's not the time for that. Now it's the time for you to focus on you and what's important to you. Let's double check what this tower is. Just checking to see, clarify the tower. Tower is clarified by, wow, death in reverse. We also have the nine of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay, uh, a transformation hasn't happened yet, not a full ending towards a particular situation. This could also be involving something to do with money, uh, with the King of Pentacles could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo sign. Um, could also just be in terms of like your own financial stability. We have the Nine of Pentacles here too. So this is also questioning your own worth, a reevaluation of your self-worth, what you're worthy of. All of this is changing um, as the days continue. I think you're really waking up to what you truly deserve in life. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone is trying to get away with something with you and they're not getting away with it. You're too smart for this and the truth has been revealed about this person. King of Swords upright, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra sign. Someone that you thought with Four of Wands in reverse, you thought that there would be a happily ever after with this person, but their true colors have now been revealed. They've been trying to do something shady and sneaky behind your back. Uh, it's caused you some grief in the past, but the truth has come out and you see them for who they are. No longer a victor victorious situation here. You don't want this future with them anymore because their true colors have now been shown. And it doesn't bother you anymore. Like you really truly see this person for who they are. Six of wands upright. Okay, someone tried to get away with something sneaky, but no, no, no. D didn't get away with it. Six of wands is clarified by... All right, we have here the eight of pentacles upright. You're working really hard on yourself. 
You're doing everything that you can do to level yourself up. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. You're not taking any breaks. For you, it's go, go, go. I have the ball rolling. I have the momentum on my side. I am gonna go until I manifest everything I've ever wanted for me and those around me that I truly love and care for and that genuinely love and care for me back as well. We also have here the eight of swords in reverse. You're no longer trapped by some low vibes from old situations, old people, old relationships. You're really cutting away from all of that and focusing on what you need to do for you. Oh my gosh, what a great, great way to start this year. It's all about your level up. Three of Wands, let's see what this Three of Wands is in reverse. They're trying real hard though, Cancer Sign, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever this is in your life that's like trying to get at you still, or trying to be sneaky around you, or like, I'm also getting like someone who is creeping on you, okay, who's like just watching you from a distance, like they're really trying their luck, but you are just not having it here. You're really about peace. Okay, so three of wands in reverse, no movement forward. We have the knight of wands upright, fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sag, temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy strong here, and the five of wands in reverse. You're not interested in fighting with anybody, but someone is definitely interested in coming in strong and coming in fiery back into your life. You don't want that though. You're not interested in the fighting, the bickering. This person is coming at you uh, very unstable, temperance in reverse. They have a way of triggering you as well. Um, and I think you know that, that if you give them too much of your time and energy, they make you feel off balance. So if there is someone in your life that you're still trying to close out a cycle with, that is still trying to be relevant, uh, but they haven't proven to you why they deserve to be relevant or if you know that their energy does not, it doesn't match your energy, um, keep on protecting yourself and allow this ending to occur because you do have death in reverse and the tower in reverse. As much as you are trying to avoid a disaster and avoid an ending, it's about to happen for you anyway, Cancer sign. Uh, you're ready to move forward. Some final advice for our Cancer signs here. Final advice using the Keepers of the Light Oracle. How can we close out January? Show us what we need to see for Cancer Signs closing out January. El Moira, Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. This is the same energy that I was feeling. Protection and love protect your peace. Someone is really trying, they're trying it. <laughs> they're really trying it, Cancer sign, but you know better now, okay? And I know that you don't like hurting other people, but this isn't even about hurting other people. This is about protecting yourself because you also deserve, you deserve the world. So please stop bending over backwards to keep everybody else happy. Protect yourself from these energies because I definitely feel someone making a strong attempt to disrupt your peace and to stay relevant in your life, even though they are no longer relevant. I hope these messages resonated with you, Cancer Signs, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.